Hey guys, Editing Joker here, and before we get to whatever video I put this in front of, I just want to remind you guys that we are doing another cash prize giveaway for the two-year anniversary that is coming up. So the link to the Google form that you can fill out will be in the video description. It will be guess all of the units that are coming out for the two-year annie between like the free-to-play and summonable protectors, and then the free-to-play and summonable battle units. Uh, the instructions will be on the form. The cash prize right now is up to $500, and all you need to do is guess a few characters' names and what their typings will be. So it's fairly simple, but try and do it, right? Because it's, it's, it's free money, right? So be sure to put your answers in the form that's in the description, have fun with it, and then once the anniversary is, you know, mostly done, we know all the units, I will reach out to whoever wins. There are some other questions uh, on the form as well that you have to answer in order for me to, you know, pay you, pay you and contact you. But, hey, this is supposed to be fun, right? I like to do these giveaways. I like to reward, you know, my subscribers for, you know, still being here and still playing the game two years in. Um, so, yeah, let's have some fun, guys. Link in the video description, but let's get on with, like I said, whatever video I put this in front of. Bye, guys. Good morning, everyone. No, don't worry. You're, the screen is correct. The thumbnail is correct. The title is correct. We're doing a video with Made Rimuru. Newly level 100 because of my ticket summons for this month. And uh, he is a defense growth unit with many defense focused skills, which work very well with this current defense meta. So he is physical, so he's not going to get, you know, that much of a buff because most of the teams we're going to fight against are, you know, weak against magic. He is wind, which means he has type advantage and beatdown battle. He has a single target wind physical alt, which really does not matter at all here. But he gives all allies 25% defense for three turns and increases their max HP by 30% for three turns. Which I've never really been a big proponent of this skill because it, it almost doesn't do what you want it to do. Because it will raise the maximum amount of HP you have, but it won't automatically raise your current HP as well. So if you have a thousand HP and you raise it by another 300 points, then your new cap is 1300, but you still have a thousand because it doesn't touch your current HP. You'd have to heal yourself up to 1300 HP. And then in three turns, it's going to go back down to a thousand. Then you know, what, what's the point? So I've never really been too big of a proponent of this type of skill. We are going to bring a healer to, you know, make sure we can get up to the new cap of HP for a while. And then he also increases our guard power, which means that when we do guard, we will take less damage. Which, we have a few units that can give guard now. And then, as a secondary effect, he also gives green orbs an extra 5% damage buff until the end of the fight. So this will stack for a while. But, uh, again, we're not a damage-focused team, so this is inconsequential. Um, his actual trait, when affected by guard rate up, he gets crit rate. Awesome. <laughs> Again, this is not a team we're looking to do crit damage with. Um, but this is the team we're going to test him out on. We are going to bring Soka for the first run, and then we'll switch to uh, Velzard with Vengeance, because Soka is going to give us guard for multiple turns as well, for three turns. 80%. So not 100, but 80% guard. And when we do guard, if we have Reamer's other skill up, we will take uh, less damage than we normally would with guard because of that extra guard power. And then we've got Raphael and Yom, and then we've got the Orb Changers, and Valentine's going to be the healer. So let's see how well this works in beatdown battle. I make no promises, but, I mean, he's 100, so we got to we gotta get the meme out of the way. So let's begin. All right, we are on Inferno 1 of the new beatdown battle to see how well this team will handle. Um, obviously, we know we can beat it with Raphael and Yom, but we don't have Velzar, we don't have the new Shuna, so this will be, you know, a lot of defense here. Uh, we did bring enough to... Oh, actually, well, we don't have Isis, so I guess we didn't really need to do that, huh? All right, well, let's go ahead and orb change here. And then we'll bring in 
Raphael for Valentine. And then what what is this? This is the this is the guard power skill. Okay. And that's only for one turn, so there's no point in using it now. So we'll leave him out. Cause we may have to orb change next turn and then eh, we'll 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 see how this goes. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Since we don't have Isis, we don't have a lot of the gauge to build up, which is unfortunate, but you know, we've swapped Isis for the the Maid Rimuru, so oh! Okay, well that works out very well then. Okay. So, here, we do want to seal him, though, because you know, we're going to take a lot of damage if we don't. So let's do the orb change here, and then we will swap Maid Rimuru in, and we shall seal him. We'll give ourselves some defense here, and I think, yeah, I think we'll run with this and we'll see how well we tank this. Because normally we don't have defense, right? We have guard, we have resistance from physical attacks and the uh, the element resistance, but we don't have just pure defense. So by having an extra 25% defense here, it may work out a little bit better. The HP increase, again, is inconsequential. So like Maid Rimuru, right, he he was full HP, right, because he didn't take anything. So he his max HP was 26.2. Now it's 34.1 because we've given them that extra 30% HP increase, but notice his actual, like, current HP did not go higher. It did not follow to get up to 34, so we'd have to heal ourselves up to 34, even though it looks like we're still full HP, so uh, it's really not a great skill in my opinion, but it, it fit for the time that he was in, and he came out with Win Val, so they had a dedicated healer. Um, we'll, we'll see. But... How much damage do we take here? He is, they are sealed, we do have the resistance, and we do have extra defense. So if we can tank this at like 500 or less, then we're looking pretty good. 800 on Yom, 300 against Raphael. Okay, I would call that pretty good. This hand is not very good. 93, 63k damage, or 63 straight up damage. Okay, I mean, yeah, that, that works very well. So, I think here, we will put the guard up. Actually, no, do we need we don't need the guard, because we're gonna get guard anyways. But I do want the stacks. So let's do this. We'll put the physical resistance on, three stacks of vengeance, we'll give ourselves the guaranteed guard from Raphael, and then next turn we'll use Soka. Because we don't really need her guard, and Raphael's guard is for one turn. But because uh Maid Rimuru's guard power is now up. Any normal attacks will do even less damage because we have guard rate and guard power. So, and then we're going to lower their physical attack anyways right here. So this works out fairly well. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of these oranges. <clears throat> okay, so we know that we're not going to do a lot of damage here. But we shouldn't take any damage either. Like, we should probably take one damage now. If we were taking 63 earlier. Uh, yeah, 1-1-1 one, one, one across the board. Guard one. Oh, that pierced, so that's unfortunate. And it crit. Did it did it crit pierce right there? Is that what I saw? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. So now we don't have guaranteed guard. We also don't have the guard power anymore. But we can reset, and now we have an 80% chance to guard, which is not as good as 100, but it's also for three turns. So now we don't really have to worry about not having Raphael's guard up all the time. Um, I, yeah, I guess we'll just send these. The thing is, though, we don't have Velzard, so we're not getting that massive skill point buff on our green orbs. So we don't have to have greens all the time. And we don't have Isis either, so we really don't need the greens. We just need to live and maybe have enough points here and there to continue stacking. This is going to be a very long fight, so I think I'm going to make a cut because we did see how well his um, his defense helped us. But we don't have the HP buff anymore, so he's back down to 26.2 as the max cap. So we didn't really gain anything out of that extra skill except that extra defense on that alt um, turn. Like, we didn't heal at all, so we didn't bring ourselves up to the 32k that we had potentially to do. We're back down to 25.5, so it... It's a very useless skill if you're only counting that for the HP increase, 
But if you're doing it for the defense, it's not a bad skill. Um, but we do want to seal him again, and we do want the physical resistance. So we'll keep him up there, and then, I, yeah, I think we'll cut to the end of the fight where we are about to kill. Okay, well, we are on turn 15, and uh, we are quite low, and also... <laughs> We have a couple of deaths in the family. So this team, I don't really know. Because, yeah, it's awesome that we have the 80% chance to guard, but uh, they tended to not care about that. And they only cared about that 20% chance to not guard. And then because we're not getting that massive skill point buff, we just don't have enough skill points to realistically do what we needed to do. Like, we're on turn 15, we have 15 stacks, and everybody is almost dead. So, is it is that made Rimuru's fault, though? No. So let's now take Soka away, and let's bring in Velzard, and we'll see if this changes the outlook of the team. All right, we have changed the team up. We've brought Velzard this time, and instead of bringing the skill point uh, first line units, which we didn't need because we don't have Isis and we're not going to use 40 skill points, we put the normal ones up. So Gazel, Dark Melm, Earth Melm. So now this full hand of oh, greens will give us <laughs> guaranteed uh, a protector, Felzard, which is what we're going to need here because we learned that, you know, we didn't really get a lot of stacks last time because we didn't have the ability to get points. Like, it's great that Soka reset our costs. But if we can't get more points to actually orb change to a full hand of greens or full hand of anything at that you know, at that rate, um, we're not going to make a lot back and we're going to be perpetually stuck at like 10 points, 5 points, because we use one skill and then you got to wait like 2 turns before you have enough to use another skill. So not the best way to go around that, shoving Protector Soka on this team. This will go much more smoothly though. Much, much more smoothly. So we'll bring you in for Valentine? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, and then we'll just send all this. I accidentally uh, accepted my big dick energy from the gift box, so now I have to deal with that for a month or until the next Valor Cup period, whatever comes first. Um, okay, that's an interesting hand. If we had maybe Trya, that'd be a full hand of greens without having with only using one skill, but... It is what it is. We can still make it work. Because we have 83 skill points. So, realistically, we can do this. Alright, and then we'll bring Maid Rimuru in for Veldora. And then we will... Let's see. We have 58 points. We're going to have to use 25 of it. So, let's go ahead and seal them. Yeah. And then we'll... Should we use the orb change, or we should should we use the guard? We're gonna get all the points back from this hand, and they're not like super buffed. Um, let's go ahead and get the get. Let's get the physical resistance actually. All right. So, and then we'll use this. We'll just run with the five greens. That'll give us plenty of points. It won't give us a lot of protection gauge, but Velzard is active for multiple turns. So it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is getting points. That way we can orb change. We can use some skills. And then we can really put the defense on. So this turn, I think we'll... Oh, that works perfectly, actually. Uh, one damage, one damage, and just a little bit over here. Uh, works out one. Awesome. Crit for one. Also great. Okay, so here, let's go ahead and use the guard power 25% and then we're going to take ah, man I, I kind of want to take Ra or Rimuru out but we're going to miss a, a guaranteed stack on this AoE alt just for these four I don't really know if that's a good idea so you know what we're just going to do more stacks and we'll put the defense up our max HP will also go up but again like I'm not swapping Valentine in to heal us and you can't actually tell like, if I were to use that skill and say, you have more HP, uh, one, that'd be a lie, because you don't actually have more HP to play with. <laughs> you just have a higher cap. But again, so again, that part of the skill is pretty useless. 
Um, but the extra defense will just mean that we're going to tank this even better than what we already did, which we did one. So, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, you can't really get much better than that. You have to take at least one damage. There's no zero damage here. So this is one across the board. The guard isn't affected by alts. 507, one damage there because they pierced. Daggerl did, and then there's one there. All right, so we're up to 20 stacks, which is already five more than what we ended with last time. Wow. Okay, so yeah, like we can do this now. So let's bring, um, let's bring you in. And again, <laughs> so we'll use this orb change. We'll use um, Yom's orb change. And now that they're not alting, we don't have to worry about sealing them. So we'll just go ahead and reset, and we'll add two more stacks to them. We still have the defense from Rimuru, right? That lasts for three turns, so if we check out here, we still do have the HP increase, cool, whatever, but we do have the extra 25% defense, which means even if they were to get their crits and everything, their normal attacks would just do less damage because we have higher defense. And what is our defense actually right now? Um, 17.9. That's a lot of defense, not damage. Defense. <laughs> All right, and counterattack for 712, okay, and another counterattack for 706, which is good because those are just two extra stacks right there. All right, and then one, there's an alt, two, and three. All right, so we actually got five stacks there, so that's pretty nice. 31 now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and we got two alts and a... Okay, hand. All right, cool, whatever. Let's go ahead and orb change those. And now we're going to seal them. Uh, we still have the defense, though, which means that we can tank this all well. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to seal them. I want to see how much damage we take here. So let's go ahead and... Um... Yeah, do, we, do we do anything here? I don't really think we need to. No. I think we're just going to send this. We're not going to use Velzar. We're just going to send this. This will get Raphael's ult. So next turn we can lower their physical physical attack. So I want to see how much damage we actually take with the higher defense without the ceiling of their crit and attack. Because if it's still a lot, well then I don't really know if it's worth bringing Maid Rimuru. But... Um... 4,000 damage? Actually... That's not bad, considering that, you know, they're critting, they got a higher attack stat. Now, we could have taken almost no damage had we sealed him and everything, but 4,000 damage with the extra defense, that I, I think is acceptable. That is an acceptable level to tank reasonably well. So let's bring Valentine up here for Veldora, since we don't have any oranges. Uh, we'll go ahead and heal... And... Okay, so you know what? They're not ulting. They still have their attack buffs, though. So let's bring Maid Rimuru back up. And then we will use his guard power. And the extra defense. So there's that. There's that. And then we'll reset and we'll put the Vengeance back on. And then we'll use Yom's Orb Change. And that'll give us a full hand of greens again. Oh, but we don't have guard up. Hmm... Eh, well... That gets us max points anyway. Well, because we didn't use a skill. Let's use the guard. Alright. So extra defense, extra guard. They still have their attack and their crit and their crit damage and everything. This is also the counter-attack turn, so while I would have really liked... Maybe I shouldn't have used the heal. Eh, oh well. It is what it is. So one, two, three, four... How much damage do we take here on these counters? After we lower their physical attack. Which I guess is... So 1 damage for 506. 501. Okay. And then 230. Alright, 261, 627. 121, 232 on the crit. That's that's relatively acceptable, right? Now, would I bring Maid Rimuru over, like, Isis, another green orb changer? Because, like, look at this turn right here. Look at this turn. I I mean, if I had Trya in the back, then we would be set. But we don't. So we gotta do what we gotta do. So, uh... Veldora will come back in for Maid Rimuru. 
And then we'll use his orb change. And then we'll get Valentine up here. Yeah. And then we'll use Yom's orb change. Cool Beano's. And, I mean, this, this fight is pretty much over, because we know how the rest of this is going to go. So I don't really think I need to continue. We did show Maid Rimuru. I don't think I'm going to take him anywhere else. Like, this probably is already a long enough video of me using him. But it, he, he can work. Maybe he's not the best option because we already have so much defense coming from just these two units alone. Did we? Do we really need a third defensive option? Probably not. I would have rather had either another healer or another orb changer. I mean, we could have brought the new um, Shuna instead and we would have more stacks of vengeance plus, you know, her, I guess, damage potential, quote unquote. So... Was it really necessary? Probably not. But can he work for people that maybe don't have Raphael? Uh, yeah, the extra defense, and if you have someone that gives guard, then you can definitely take less damage. But I don't think he's like an S-tier replacement kind of option for you. I think he's a solid, like, B-plus replacement unit. Um, but, I mean, again, he is definitely not necessary in any way, shape, or form. He will just make your life slightly nicer if you don't have the mainline, you know, Raphael unit. Which then just kind of actually just goes to show how powerful Raphael is by himself. Because he's doing so much. He's got like four different units kits in one. And it's really incredible what they gave this what they gave this character so uh we're gonna kill this turn anyway so um that was that was the made Raymaru showcase in you know a, a rather difficult event where defense is key i think he did okay um again a solid substitute but definitely not triple a s tier triple triple a plus 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 but a solid option but let me know your thoughts in the comments below that's it for me. Take it easy, and I'll see you all later.